Macintosh and Windows keyboard, mouse, wireless for both. Opening up the box, you have your keyboard, nice and slim, with the instruction guide inside, your USB-C and A dongle, and the mouse. The wireless mouse will need a AA battery. The keyboard requires a couple of AAA batteries, two to be exact. When installed your battery, you have an on and off switch located on the left side. You have rubber pads for the feet and you have an ergonomic key that will lift your keyboard up just a little bit so it makes it a little easier for typing. On the mouse, you also have an on and off switch that will turn your optical drive on and ready for use. Rear computer supplies a USB-A and USB-C port. Plug in your mouse to the port. Your mouse is able to be moved. Click on the keyboard and you're ready to use your keyboard. You have here on the mouse's front over here, a speed control and DP. You can scroll your wheel, move your mouse fast and slow. You have a scroll wheel a left click and a right click. You have everything that resembles your Windows laptop on the keyboard. You can put your tablet, your smartphone into the keyboard and type as you want. With a Macintosh, you find a USB-C port and plug in the Type-C adapter. Take the USB-C and plug into the USB-C port. Allow accessory to connect, keyboard setup, identify the keyboard by hitting the buttons, return the mouse on, and you're able to take care of business just like that. Speed up the mouse by hitting the buttons. And you're able to use your keyboard. This keyboard, when all completed, shut down your keyboard and shut down your mouse for another day. These keyboards and mouses are great for your laptop, desktops, whatever you want to use it for, Windows or Mac. I hope you enjoy your keyboard. AA and AAA batteries not included.